In today's digital age, virtual job interviews have become the norm, transforming how candidates present themselves. This video will explore the top 25 questions commonly asked during these interviews, along with effective answers to help you stand out. Navigating virtual interviews can be challenging, but with the right preparation, you can increase your chances of success. We'll provide insights into what employers are looking for and tips on how to convey your skills confidently. 1. What experience do you have working remotely or in a virtual environment? I have extensive experience working remotely for several years in various roles. My journey began with a digital marketing position where I collaborated with international teams. I utilized tools like Slack and Trello for communication and project management, ensuring smooth workflows. This experience taught me the importance of clear communication and adaptability. I have also participated in virtual training sessions and webinars, enhancing my skills while connecting with industry professionals. These experiences have equipped me with the necessary skills to thrive in remote settings. 2. How do you manage your time and stay organized when working from home? To manage my time effectively while working from home, I rely on a combination of planning and prioritization. I start each day by creating a detailed to-do list that outlines my tasks, setting realistic deadlines for each. Using tools like digital calendars and project management software helps me visualize my schedule and allocate time effectively. I also employ techniques like the Pomodoro technique, where I work in focused intervals followed by short breaks to maintain productivity. Regularly reviewing my progress allows me to adjust my priorities as needed, ensuring I stay on track. 3. What tools and technologies are you familiar with for virtual collaboration and communication? I am familiar with a variety of tools that facilitate virtual collaboration and communication. Platforms like Zoom and Microsoft Teams are essential for video conferencing and team meetings. For project management, I often use Trello and Asana to track tasks and deadlines. Slack is my go-to for instant messaging and quick updates with team members. Additionally, I utilize Google Workspace for document sharing and collaboration, ensuring everyone has access to the latest information. These tools help maintain effective communication, streamline workflows, and enhance team productivity in a remote setting. 4. How do you maintain work-life balance in a remote work setting? Maintaining work-life balance in a remote setting requires intentional boundaries. I establish a dedicated workspace that signals the start and end of my workday. Using a structured schedule helps me allocate time effectively for work tasks and personal activities. Regular breaks are crucial, I ensure I step away from my desk to recharge. Additionally, I set clear expectations with colleagues about my availability, which helps minimize work-related interruptions during personal time. Engaging in hobbies and social activities outside of work hours keeps me refreshed and focused. 5. Describe a challenging situation you faced while working virtually and how you resolved it. During a critical project, our team faced a communication breakdown due to different time zones and varying availability. Deadlines were approaching, and this lack of clarity led to confusion about responsibilities. To resolve this, I initiated a weekly check-in meeting where all team members could provide updates and clarify tasks. I also created a shared document outlining responsibilities and deadlines, which everyone could access at any time. This structured approach improved our communication, ensured accountability, and ultimately helped us complete the project on time. 6. How do you stay motivated and productive when working independently? Staying motivated and productive while working independently involves setting clear goals and maintaining a structured routine. I prioritize my tasks using a list and allocate specific time blocks for each activity. Regular breaks are essential, they help refresh my mind and prevent burnout. Engaging with colleagues through virtual channels fosters a sense of connection and accountability. Additionally, I create a dedicated workspace that minimizes distractions, ensuring I can focus on my tasks efficiently. Keeping a positive mindset and celebrating small achievements also boosts my motivation. 7. What strategies do you use to communicate effectively with team members in different time zones? When working with team members across various time zones, clear communication strategies are vital. I prioritize scheduling meetings during overlapping work hours to ensure maximum participation. Using shared calendars helps everyone stay informed about each other's availability. I also leverage asynchronous communication tools like email and project management platforms to keep everyone updated without needing real-time responses. Additionally, maintaining a concise and organized communication style reduces misunderstandings and ensures that messages are easily digestible for all team members, regardless of their location. 8. How do you handle technical issues or connectivity problems when working remotely? When facing technical issues or connectivity problems while working remotely, I first remain calm and systematically troubleshoot the issue. This includes checking the internet connection, restarting devices, and ensuring all necessary software is updated. If the problem persists, I reach out to IT support for assistance. I also maintain a backup plan, such as having a mobile hotspot or alternate work location, to minimize disruptions. 
Keeping open communication with my team about potential delays helps manage expectations and maintain workflow continuity during technical difficulties. 9. What is your approach to building and maintaining relationships with colleagues in a virtual setting? Building and maintaining relationships in a virtual setting requires intentional effort. I prioritize regular check-ins and informal catch-ups via video calls, which help create personal connections. I actively participate in team discussions and contribute to collaborative projects, ensuring open lines of communication. Utilizing chat tools for quick conversations and sharing personal updates fosters a sense of camaraderie. I also recognize the value of acknowledging colleagues' achievements, which helps create a supportive team culture. Establishing trust through reliability and consistent communication is essential for strong virtual relationships. 10. How do you ensure that you meet deadlines and project goals when working remotely? To meet deadlines and project goals while working remotely, I establish clear priorities by breaking projects into manageable tasks. Utilizing project management tools helps me track progress and allocate time effectively. I set specific milestones and deadlines for each task, allowing for regular check-ins to assess progress. Communication with team members is crucial, so I maintain consistent updates to ensure everyone is aligned. Additionally, I allocate dedicated time blocks for focus work, minimizing distractions to enhance productivity and ensure timely completion of my responsibilities. 11. Describe your ideal virtual work environment and setup. My ideal virtual work environment includes a dedicated home office with ergonomic furniture, ensuring comfort during long hours. A large monitor is crucial for multitasking, paired with a noise-canceling headset for clear audio during calls. Good lighting enhances focus, while plants add a touch of nature to the space. I prefer a fast and stable internet connection to minimize disruptions. Additionally, I utilize organizational tools like digital calendars and project management software to streamline tasks and maintain productivity, fostering a professional yet comfortable atmosphere. 12. How do you stay up to date with industry trends and developments when working remotely? Keeping current with industry trends is crucial in a remote setting. I subscribe to reputable industry newsletters and follow key thought leaders on platforms like LinkedIn and Twitter. Participating in relevant webinars and online workshops helps me gain insights and network with professionals. I also engage in online forums and communities that focus on my field, allowing me to share knowledge and learn from others. Setting aside dedicated time each week to read articles, watch videos, or listen to podcasts ensures I remain informed about new developments and best practices. 13. What methods do you use to collaborate on projects with team members virtually? Collaboration on projects in a virtual environment requires a blend of effective communication and the right tools. I utilize platforms like Slack for real-time discussions and Trello for organizing tasks and tracking progress. Regular video calls via Zoom help maintain personal connections and ensure everyone is aligned with project goals. I encourage open feedback and brainstorming sessions to foster creativity. Document sharing through Google Drive allows for seamless collaboration on files, ensuring all team members have access to the latest information, which enhances productivity and coherence in our work. 14. How do you handle distractions and maintain focus when working from home? When working from home, I create a dedicated workspace that minimizes distractions. I set specific working hours and communicate these boundaries to family or housemates. Utilizing techniques like the Pomodoro Technique helps me maintain focus by breaking work into intervals with short breaks. I also use apps that block distracting websites during work hours. Regularly reviewing my task list keeps me aligned with my priorities, while listening to instrumental music can enhance concentration. Adjusting my environment, such as lighting and seating, further supports my productivity. 15. What experience do you have with virtual meeting platforms like Zoom, Microsoft Teams, or Google Meet? I have extensive experience using virtual meeting platforms like Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and Google Meet. In my previous roles, I organized and participated in numerous meetings, webinars, and training sessions using these tools. I am proficient in features like screen sharing, breakout rooms, and chat functionalities, which enhance collaboration. I also ensure that meetings are well-structured with agendas to maximize productivity. Additionally, I adapt my communication style based on the platform, maintaining engagement and clarity during discussions. This experience has helped me facilitate effective virtual interactions with diverse teams. 16. How do you contribute to team culture and morale in a virtual work environment? In a virtual work environment, I actively contribute to team culture and morale by fostering open communication and encouraging collaboration. I initiate virtual team building activities, such as online coffee breaks and game sessions, to strengthen interpersonal relationships. Regularly recognizing team members' achievements and providing positive feedback helps create an uplifting atmosphere. Additionally, I promote inclusivity by ensuring everyone has a voice in discussions and decision-making processes. By sharing personal experiences and encouraging casual conversations, I help cultivate a supportive and engaging team culture. 17. Describe a successful virtual project you've worked on and your role in its completion. 
One successful virtual project I worked on was the launch of a new marketing campaign for a product. My role involved coordinating with team members across different departments, including design and sales. I utilized project management tools to assign tasks, set deadlines, and track progress. Weekly video meetings ensured everyone stayed aligned. I compiled feedback and made necessary adjustments, which enhanced our messaging. The project not only met its launch date but also exceeded our initial engagement targets, demonstrating the effectiveness of our collaborative efforts and strategic planning. 18. How do you prioritize tasks and manage multiple projects simultaneously in a remote setting? In a remote setting, prioritization begins with clear goal setting and understanding project deadlines. I utilize tools like Trello or Asana to create a visual representation of tasks and their priorities. Each morning, I review my list, identifying high-impact tasks that align with team objectives. I break larger projects into smaller, manageable tasks, which helps me maintain focus and track progress. Regular check-ins with team members ensure alignment and accountability, while time-blocking techniques help me allocate dedicated periods for each project. This structured approach fosters productivity and clarity. 19. What strategies do you use to maintain a professional demeanor during video calls and virtual meetings? Maintaining a professional demeanor during video calls involves several key strategies. Firstly, I ensure my background is tidy and free from distractions, creating a suitable environment for professional interaction. Dressing appropriately is another crucial aspect, it helps set the tone for the meeting and reinforces a professional mindset. Additionally, I practice active listening, which includes nodding and responding appropriately to comments made by others. Finally, I focus on clear, concise communication and avoid multitasking during calls to demonstrate respect and engagement with the discussion. 20. How do you ensure clear communication and avoid misunderstandings when working virtually? Clear communication in a virtual environment is essential to prevent misunderstandings. I prioritize using multiple communication channels, such as video calls, instant messaging, and emails, to ensure messages are received and understood. I clarify expectations by summarizing discussions and confirming key points at the end of meetings. Additionally, I encourage team members to ask questions if anything is unclear. Regular check-ins help maintain alignment and foster an open culture where feedback is welcomed. Using visual aids, such as slides or diagrams, can also enhance understanding and retention of information. 21. What is your approach to seeking feedback and professional development in a remote work environment? In a remote work environment, I prioritize open communication and regular check-ins to seek constructive feedback. I schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings with my supervisor and colleagues to discuss my performance and areas for improvement. Engaging in online courses and webinars keeps my skills sharp and aligned with industry standards. I also participate in virtual workshops and networking events to connect with professionals. By actively seeking mentorship and engaging in peer reviews, I ensure continuous growth and development in my career. 22. How do you handle conflicts or disagreements with team members in a virtual setting? When conflicts arise in a virtual setting, when conflicts arise in a virtual setting, I prioritize open and respectful communication. I first seek to understand the other person's perspective by listening actively and asking clarifying questions. Next, I approach the situation with a problem-solving mindset, focusing on finding common ground rather than assigning blame. If necessary, I suggest a video call to discuss the matter face-to-face, -face, which often helps convey tone and intention better than text. Ultimately, I aim to resolve issues collaboratively, ensuring that all parties feel heard and valued in the process. 23. Describe your experience with asynchronous communication and collaboration tools. Asynchronous communication tools have been essential to my remote work experience. I regularly use platforms like Slack, Trello, and Asana for project management and team collaboration. These tools allow me to communicate with colleagues across different time zones without needing real-time interaction. I appreciate the flexibility they provide, enabling me to respond thoughtfully rather than immediately. This approach helps maintain clarity in communication and ensures everyone is on the same page. I find that documented discussions enhance accountability and serve as a reference for future projects. 24. How do you maintain a sense of work structure and routine when working from home? To maintain a sense of work structure and routine while working from home, I establish a consistent daily schedule that mirrors a traditional office environment. I set specific start and end times for my workday, including breaks to recharge. Creating a dedicated workspace helps me mentally separate work from personal life. I prioritize my tasks using a daily or weekly planner, ensuring I allocate time for both high-priority projects and regular check-ins with colleagues. By sticking to routines and holding myself accountable, I enhance productivity and maintain focus throughout the day. 25. What do you think are the biggest challenges of working virtually, and how do you overcome them? One of the biggest challenges of working virtually is the feeling of isolation. Without face-to-face -face interactions, it's easy to feel disconnected from the team. To combat this, I make a conscious effort to engage in regular video calls and virtual team building activities. Another challenge is managing time effectively, as the boundaries between work and personal life can blur. 
I address this by setting a strict schedule and designating a specific workspace. This structure helps me stay focused and productive while ensuring I take necessary breaks to recharge. As we wrap up our exploration of the top 25 virtual job interview questions and answers, remember that preparation is key to success. By understanding these questions and crafting thoughtful responses, you can significantly improve your chances of making a positive impression during your interview. Embrace the opportunity to showcase your skills and personality in the virtual space. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more valuable content on job interviewing tips and career advice. Good luck with your future interviews.